and welcome. So first of all, we got Adam's deck profile from the Double Up tournaments, was it? Yep. And what did you do? Uh, so I went X1 in the Double Up, so it was a four round of Swiss tournament. Uh, you get double the amount of points for local events at the European Championships. It was um, pretty much the same deck I played all weekend. Uh, there's one or two minor changes, uh -huh. which probably going forward probably would have been correct for the weekend. But I made a bit of cards and things. But yeah, Fair. It, it was a good weekend. Just didn't do great at main event. Went X four one after day one. So didn't make top cut. So it's fine. <laughs> It'll do. Just waiting in the airport now. But ready to go home. And right. then get ready for next season. And so, what did you play? Uh, so I played Danger Thunder. Okay. Do you want to give us a little show? Yeah. Uh, so start with the monsters. Uh, so I played Free Solar. Uh, probably the best like normal summon deck at the moment. I didn't see it a lot, which wasn't great, but it, it does what it needs to do. Uh, Thunder package was three of the original, uh, two of the dark, uh, two raw, uh, and then a hawk and a duo. So sticking with the one hawk rather than the one roar. Yeah, like I can see the benefits of playing the one roar for count wise, but there's a lot of times today where I'd make solar and then have the roar in hand. Uh -huh. So it was better to send the hawk and then use the roar to get the hawk back. Okay, I know I don't get the extra summon off this, but yeah. it still does what I need to do. Uh, there's one game where I just had this and a light and dark and grave, and was just recurring this for a couple of turns. So it was alright. Uh, dangers. The best bit of the deck, I think. It means makes the deck more consistent. Play free snake, free jackalope, uh, free Nessie, and then the one Bigfoot. Bigfoot came in um, really good uh, during my last game, uh, playing against Draco. I used this to pop the Maiden. It wasn't the right choice, but it meant that it forced my opponent to do other things, which I probably didn't really want to do. But yeah, um, I wouldn't really change the danger lineup going forward. I think the 10 is correct. This is okay to drop potentially, but I'd rather put it in for now. Mm -hmm. uh, I play two Phantasmae. Yeah. Didn't see them. Didn't play them. <laughs> Never really came up. But it, I think I didn't play this yesterday, and there was a lot of times where I actually missed it. So I think going forward, this is a must in the deck. That's probably about it on that. Yeah. Uh, I play. Free Levy in Air. This is the best card in deck, I think. Just having the versatility it provides in terms of you know being able to pop back pop your opponent's card or get rid of a card out of their hand, or even sometimes special card as well from Grave is really useful. Yeah. So there's one game yesterday where I made this re special with another thunder from Grave and made double Colossus and my opponent really couldn't couldn't do anything because it was against Salad and they open double circle mm -hmm. and then some other stuff. Uh, it was mainly hand traps they opened, which sort of slowed me down. But yeah. Uh, one D Bolos, uh, Brotor, and a Cook Vibin. Uh, these are kind of standard now. Brotor is a really good card, and I think I wouldn't cut this ever. Mm. It's actually a couple of this playing two of this. It's probably worth saying I might test, but I think. I think I'll probably keep it at one and one. But did you do the eclipse loop in the end, or? Uh, I never did the eclipse loop, no. Because generally I prior prioritize Brotor because mm -hmm. Brotor's better in Grave. So that if you don't make Pisty in your turn, your turn if you're still alive in the next turn, and they somehow manage to clear your board, you can if you can recur this, make Pisty, and then get some re resources back. Uh, baby dragons. Free white, free black. They're, these guys are broken at the moment. I think they're really good. Uh, I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if these get hit on the next ban list, which is a bit of a shame. But whether they just limit the wise and buster to one, maybe. Like, the deck's still playable, but 
it's just not, a, it makes it a bit more slower if they do ban this. Uh, I played the Crusader package this weekend, uh, so, which consists of three Lucusia uh, and one Draco. I think this is a really good, like, this, normal summoning this, then making the Magus is really strong. It makes the deck available as a one card combo instead of a two with the Wyvern and the Solar. So it gives it a bit more versatility. And then against things like Striker as well, I'll be able to special summon this and then pop something, which sometimes forces interaction as well. Yeah. Uh, last two monsters. Uh, first one was Sloth. Sloth was okay. I didn't use it all day. I used it a lot yesterday to summon off Pyratic Seals. I'm going forward, I might cut it. I, it depends on how the list in the future comes up. Uh, and then the other card that I played today was the prize card. Uh, shout out to go to Team Captain Martin Harris for letting me borrow the card for today's uh, event. Obviously, Martin was playing it yesterday, so I couldn't use it yesterday. But it was. I came up in a couple of games. There was one game where I made this and I collected Wyvern, and it was quite sad. I didn't want to have to use this for the uh, Hope Harbinger, but it made. I got gain from it, so going forward, I definitely use it. If if I could afford one of these, I would get one, but at the moment, you know, it's not a feasible card to try and play. Uh, and then the last three cards of the deck are Seckers. Uh, I think Seckers is the better ver variant of this deck. It's really versatile, especially with the shuffling effect. Uh, there was no point today where I drew Seckers or Seckers. There's a couple of turns, a couple of games yesterday where I did, but it happens. Uh, so that's the main deck. It was 45 in total. Uh, go to the extra deck. So, tokens, standard. Uh, I played the one Magus for the Crusader stuff. The usual guard dragon of Pisty, LP, and Agpain. Like, when this was like create, whoever thought about playing this in the deck was sane. Um, just the versatility this provides for the deck. The boards you can make an, is amazing. Uh, I played the one seals and the lamparinkus for like the two diamond point arrows. Uh, I went for this over beat cop mainly because it's another light for all my. The, the deck's quite dark heavy, so this sort of balances it out. But whether I'd use this again, maybe this is better against things like striker though because they can't widow anchor it and seal it. So it is what it is. I played the one Phoenix and the one Unicorn. I made both of these today against Orcus and span all their stuff back. So I popped, I popped the Crescendo and then I spam back as being Gear 2. It meant I, I took Game 2 but then I proceeded to lose Game 3. But that was my only loss for today. Uh, the one triple burst for the combo. If you open Lamparink, if you make Lamparinkus first, you have to use this because you can make it out of other monsters. Uh, the one Saruja. Uh, there was a, we had a big debate last, uh, yeah, literally on the Friday night about whether to play two or one. Uh, I'll show you what we played, what I played instead. Going forward, I'm still not keen on w one. There's a couple of times today where I could have done with the f second, but uh, this I'm anticipating to be hit on the next ban list. And limit it to one, so I think one will be staples for, for going forward. Last link for was Borrowload, mainly because there's some decks that if, they, if someone makes Borrowload, my only out is either this or Levian here. So it's better to have this to steal their Borrowload. Uh, yeah. Double Colossus, it's pretty standard in the deck. Colossus is strong against any deck that searches a lot. Uh, I played against uh, Adam Stamex from NCG earlier today. And I made this twice in what in turn two of game three, and it just helped me get game so that he couldn't search anything. Uh, and then the one Hope Highbringer and the one Hot Red. These guys are great. Level eight to negate spells, especially against Striker. It's just really strong, and just negating anything that goes face up on field is really good. Side. Side didn't really come in clutch that often today. Like I didn't see it a lot. Uh, so it consisted of three gnome. I didn't play this at all. I played this over the whole weekend, and there's a couple of games where this was really good. 
things like salad and orcas this is really good but just never saw it uh, best card at the moment Lancia I think there's not any deck at the moment that isn't playing Lancia because orcas and thunder are so strong at the moment that they have to play this it just stop I got Lancia once I think all week uh, all day today and then I got Lancia pretty much every game last week yesterday which kind of sucks but it is what it is uh, my favourite card in the side deck, I think, this whole event, including both today and yesterday, was the Gamma package. Uh, I've come to the conclusion Gamma is probably the best hand trap at the moment, because it interacts with pretty much anything that your opponent does. So if your opponent tries to you know, hand trap you, you can negate the hand trap with this. Or just even if they use a monster effect, because you control nothing, you can just summon this. I've had instances where people try to lance it, and then they try to do something, and I've done gamma and I get to keep the gamma which is really strong going second but I'm then going second because I'm going to start with two monsters on board to start a combo I played the two spell cancer uh, I lent one out I think I wasn't sure I was definitely going to be able to get three but then I managed to pick up a third on the, the Friday after I handed my deck list in so but I didn't see any striker in the main event which was Probably just down to where I was placed on tables, and then I only played one striker in the event today, so it's fine. I, I think this is a really strong card at the moment. I think it's been slept on for quite a while, but since sort of the national season has picked up, this has become more relevant. Uh, last cards played were three twin twisters, just for removing any back row decks, so Geist or Draco. I didn't see this at all in my, two, in my Draco matchup today. I mean, if I had seen it, it probably would have been great. Because I didn't see it, it's fine. Um, and that's the deck for the weekend.